Sadly, some things aren't available at any price. Before we get started, I got some sticker shout outs. We got Built Not Bought by Bruce, and Bruce is a fellow Econoline pickup owner. If you guys if you guys recall, I recently acquired an Econoline pickup. I'll leave a link in the corner. Next, we have Handmade by Vincent Ferrari, and Vincent uh, runs a podcast called Because We Make, and he's also got a YouTube channel. I will leave links down below. Shop in town here called Neverboard. They're a printing outfit. They had me do some work on one of their heat presses recently. And they're also running a nonprofit called Graffiti for Good, and that's where they're employing artists to uh, do graffiti art on, on ugly walls around town. Finally, we've got Dan the Maker Man. And he sent me these really cool handmade clamps. And I'll leave a link to all their presences in doobly-doo below. Anyway, holiday gift-giving time is upon us. And makers are the toughest people in the world to buy for. And that's why I've made this video. This is what to get a maker. I wanted to put a video out for you folks who are hard to buy for. I know I'm really hard to buy for because the fact of the matter is if it's under $100, I probably went out and bought it myself already. But there are many exceptions, and I'm going to highlight those for you folks here today. In my case, there are a lot of really nice tools out there that would be really nice to have. I'm just too frugal, cheap, to buy them. And those make great gifts. One such item that would make a great gift is the Hovel Pencil Plane. Now, these things are $69. This is the exact kind of thing that most guys are not going to buy for themselves. But if you know someone you're willing to drop $69 on, and they use pencils, this is an excellent gift. Anyway, these come from a company called Maker's Cabinet. They're at makerscabinet.com, and I've worked a deal for my viewers that if you use the code free shipping, you will get free shipping on it. Now, some of you may remember my retractable caster project from a couple of years ago. Uh, they're originally made by Rockler, but I decided to make my own, and I'll leave a link to that video up in the corner. But, uh, like all great things, they have now been knocked off, and you can get them for $30 on Amazon. And I'll leave a link to that down below. If that special someone has a lathe and makes pens, this is a very handy tool. It's the Woodpecker's Pen Blank Center Finder. And uh, they're not even particularly expensive, but most folks don't uh, want to spend the money anyway for reasons unknown. Another thing from Woodpeckers is their table saw feather board. And the fact of the matter is anything from Woodpeckers is pretty high-end stuff. And, and almost anything would make a, a really great gift. I'll leave links to these in the doobly-doo below. Now this thing here is really neat. It's an adjustable iris. And what it does is it adjusts to let you draw any size circle between 3 8 and 3 inches. And I'll leave a link to that down in the doobly-doo. Now the next thing I wanted to show you guys is the Sterrett Miter Protractor. If that special someone uses a chop saw, you'll notice that it has a miter gauge on it. In fact, table saw has it too. They're wrong. They're always wrong. It's a very useful and inexpensive gift at under $20. I'll leave a link below. And speaking of angles, if that special someone needs to cut angles on a table saw, here's the miter set. And what the miter set does is you tell it how many segments you want in your multiple-sided object, and it will give you the right angle from the slot in the table saw to the blade. This is really handy if you want to make segmented bowls or planters and things like that. Now there are a couple of different kinds of miter sets, and if you don't know which one to get for that special someone, just get them a gift card. I'll leave the link to that down below also. Now this thing here is pretty cool. It's called the Square. It's made by my pal Tim Sway. He makes guitars from garbage and YouTube videos. He also has a podcast called Reclaimed Audio, where him, Bill Lutz, and Phil Pinsky all talk about making stuff. Anyway, Tim produces and sells the Square, and it's just a handy thing to have around. I heard he's producing a new smaller one that's only $15. These are $29.95, plus shipping. And the last thing I want to show you guys is this, the Twisted Sharpie. These are produced by my friend Greg Porter over at gregsgaragekc.com. This just houses a Sharpie cartridge inside, but it's a neat thing to have. They're, they're available in both left-hand twist and right-hand twist. I've got one of each. They're 30 bucks each. Now, Greg moved to Colorado a couple of years ago to join an effort called Skyscraper Guitars, and what they do is they manufacture tools for luthiers. Those are guitar makers. And this is some pretty high-end stuff, so if you are a luthier, check out some of that stuff. 
So there it is, some inspiration for those hard to buy for makers that might be in your life. Just let them watch this video. I leave links to every single product down in the description below. If whatever the thing is is on Amazon, I'll get a couple of cents off of uh, any purchases you make there by following my affiliate link. Other than that, uh, the only deal I was able to work for you guys was the free shipping on the first item. So if you are one of those hard to buy for people, please share this video with someone that may uh, care enough to get you one of these things. So once again, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. Stay safe out there and have a good one.